Okay guys, it's time to start learning about services in Angular 2. Now before I explain what exactly is a service, I want to help you understand why services are required in the first place. So to explain that, I have a very simple application. Now it just displays a list of employees. So let's quickly have a look at the code. So we start off with the app module, which is the root module of our application, and this app module bootstraps the app component which is the root component. Now in the app component we just have an h1 tag that has random company as the text and it has the employee list component nested inside it. And in the employee list component we have a hard-coded array of employees that has ID, name and gender and using the ng4 directive we iterate over this array displaying just the name. So now we have random company, employee list component, and then the list of employee names. So far, our application works great. But now, let's say that our boss comes in and tells us, hey, I need another view which gives me the details of all the employees, the ID, the name, gender, everything. So now we need a new employee details component. So we go ahead and create the employee details component Again, we use the ng4 directive to iterate over the employees array and we print the ID, the name, and the gender. But we have a problem here. We don't have the employee data available in this component. Now we can of course copy paste the array of employees from the employee list component to the employee detail component, but if we do that, we are going to be violating first of the many good programming principles, which is the dry principle. Do not repeat yourself. So we already have the employee data code. Don't repeat it. That is what this principle basically tells. And the second principle, which we have already in fact violated, is the single responsibility principle. In Angular, every component should be responsible for just handling the view logic. But in our application, the view is also responsible for creating and managing the employee data. So we shouldn't be doing that. We need to ensure that there is a certain level of abstraction. So now, how do we ensure all these are checked? The answer is services. A service is nothing but a class with a specific purpose. And in Angular, we are going to be using services for mainly three purposes. The first one is to implement any business logic that is independent of any component. For example, let's say that I need to calculate the age from date of birth. Now you provide the year and the logic can give you the age. You don't really need a view with HTML to do that. It is component independent. So in such a scenario, we are going to be using services. The second scenario is we also use services to give components access to shared data and that is exactly the scenario we have at hand. We need to share the employee array data to both the employee list component and the employee details component. And we'll learn how to do that shortly. And the third scenario is to handle external interactions. For example, connecting to a database. So these are the three scenarios. Let me quickly summarize what we have learned and then we can proceed with the next video. So what is a service? A service is nothing but a class with a specific purpose. Why do we use a service? To implement any business logic, to get access to shared data, and to handle any external interactions. But how do we use services in Angular 2? The answer is dependency injection. But now what exactly is dependency in injection? Let's learn about that in the next video. So thank you guys for watching and don't forget to subscribe.